what is going on you guys welcome to the channel first off before anything i just want to thank everyone so much for 50 subscribers this is a huge deal to me because i kind of just started this channel as something fun to do and to think that people are actually subscribing to it and want to see more con content is really uplifting and makes me want to make even more videos so without further ado Today we will be discussing how much power does your RTX 3080 actually need. So the main reason I want to make this video is because before I even got my graphics card while I was still struggling to get one, I had every part that I needed for the PC but the power supply and the graphics card. But I knew that I wanted an RTX 3080 and I wasn't going to settle for one less than that. I watched a lot of videos and I read up on a lot of forums and at the time i owned a 650 watt power supply and i thought that might be enough and there were some videos that basically said you can just scrape by with a 650 watt it's not the best idea but it is doable basically i was finally able to get the card and i had my 650 watt power supply that i was going to use i built the entire system put in the 650 watt power supply what do you know i kept getting blue screens and it would just automatically reboot out of nowhere. I kind of thought it might have been the RAM because there were just so many different sources telling me that 650 watts should have been enough. And keep in mind, the car that I had was the For The Win 3 Ultra by EVGA. And whenever you look at the EVGA power supply requirement, it shows 750 watts. Um, the total power draw was 320. At the time, I had an i9 9900K so i thought that would have been more than enough i used the pc wattage calculator and it said at max load it would pull 640. little did i know that was definitely cutting it too close basically i ended up just ordering a 750 watt power supply and i thought that would do it i would be good with that <laughs> i get it i install it and lo and behold the same exact thing is happening i'm getting blue screens of death it is rebooting during games. Uh, that's a key thing to mention, actually. It would only reboot during a game. Uh, Cyberpunk especially, even though it was really buggy at the time, but a lot of games, as soon as it would load in and I would start playing, it would crash right about that time. I kind of figured it must be the same exact thing. I, at that point, I was kind of nervous it was the GPU. So I order a 850 watt, boom, no problem haven't had an issue since so what i would definitely recommend you do is to use the extreme outer vision calculator i'm gonna have this link down in the description below turn it to expert and as you can see right now i have the i9 10900kf i have it overclocked to 4.9 uh and i also put up the v core as well to the proper voltage and I changed it to 100% TDP. It recommends 90, but you have to realize that your PC is going to spike. And if it, the power supply can't handle that spike, if it goes over, then more than likely you're gonna end up crashing. So put that in, my four eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4, the RTX 3080, put that in as well. And two m.2 nvmes one gaming keyboard one gaming mouse i don't know how big of a difference that makes but i do have both of those i have two led strips with 15 leds a fan controller and i just put the two usb 2.0s because i do have two rgb hubs 920 millimeter fans 150 one 360 millimeter radiator AIO. Uh, the monitor really doesn't change anything, but I just put it in anyway. And what it came out to was 711 watts under load, and it recommends a minimum of 761 watts. So at the beginning of everything, if I would have just put this in, that would have really simplified everything. And just to kind of reiterate, I'm gonna put the exact CPU that I had calculated again. And you could see now with that CPU, it shows me I only would have needed 642 watts, but 
I had a 650. It wasn't this exact one, but it was the, the fully modular and it did not cut it. So, and the main issue with this is it will spike. It is going to spike. So if I was running a game right now, this could very easily shoot up to 100% usage. It would be using far more memory, which would also use more power. And then also the GPU would probably be almost at 100% load. The fans would be running and certain scenes in a game can make it spike. You doing a certain thing in a game can make the power usage spike. There's a, a lot of different factors that come into play and you have to have a power supply that can be able to handle all of those spikes and still stay well within its power limit. Because the moment that it goes over and it could even hit that, that power limit and it will just crash right there. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of clear up that topic because if you have a 9900K or a CPU of the same power equivalent and you are trying to run an RTX 3080, just do not try it because it is probably going to crash. At the very least, get a 750 and see if that works for you. But I highly recommend an 850 or higher. 850 will definitely do the job. But if you get one that's higher than that, then that's just gonna kind of future proof your build. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to clear it up because I saw a bunch of other YouTubers kind of talking about this topic and they did some tests and said that you would be fine, but this is just my personal experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.